Okay, so move over. So we're gonna have the leg come off the table. Yeah, scoot over for me. Right there, perfect. And then I'll be okay. Uh, I'll be okay. Okay, I'm gonna test mobility here first, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, just, can you put your hand? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> I'm just going to test uh, hip rotation first, just to see if TFL is affecting your quad. Oh my god, you have really good rotation. <laughs> Holy crap. Someone takes care of their body. Okay, girl. Just because you got the leggings on, I'm just going to do some ART going through the, the pants. I'm going to go two positions. Mm -hmm. Two positions. <laughs> Close to the knee and then okay. one in the center. Okay. Okay, so I'm primarily on... Rec fem. So what I need from you, I, I need you to start here, mm -hmm. and then basically leg extension, okay. and then hamstring curl as much as you can into the table. Okay. Okay. Actually, we'll start here. So here, pressure from my elbow, and then all the way hamstring curl, bending the knee. Good. One, 10 reps for me. And then keeping updated on the pressure. Two. Am I supposed to be getting into like a leg extension at the top? Three, full flex your quad at the top, okay. yeah. So fully shortening the muscle and then hamstring curl to get a stretch from the, stretch at the quad, I can talk. Okay. <laughs> Those are five right there? Mm -hmm. Let's count here, six, good. Seven. Eight. Increasing pressure. Nine, last one. What's the discomfort? A ten. Ten. <laughs> why? Why? Where is it at the, the quad? quad yeah. Oh, so it is very tight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go in the center. Just because I think the elbow is a little too much, I'm just gonna go hands. So right in the center, of the rectum. Yeah, straight in out for me. Shorten the muscle. Here comes the pressure. Go ahead. Oof. Hamstring curl. One. Two. Three, four, very good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Good job, relax. Let's go foot on the table. And then can you recenter for me? Yeah. Sorry, I moved you too much. Okay, so typically, huh, I'm gonna try something because I usually do this with cups, but because we have the leggings on, mm -hmm. obviously you can't use the cups. Mm -hmm. But basically, every time you do a hip extension, you should get a quad stretch, mm -hmm. right? So I'm still gonna do use ART. Um, so pressure, so let's get into a, it's basically a glute bridge, glute bridge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what I need, so the same kind of concept, I'm gonna put pressure higher on the quad this time so we mm -hmm. can get the top part, but I need a hip extension as much as you can, okay? And then okay. because I haven't done this without the cups in a while, mm -hmm. make sure you, if you can communicate to me if you feel a stretch. Okay. Okay. So, so here, wait, hold up. So TFL quad right on the, Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna follow your hips as best as I can. And then as much as you can stretch, or uh, hip extension. And then do you feel the resistance at the top of your quad? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Push, two. Oh my God. Go. Three, I got it. Go. Four. How does the stretch feel where my thumb's at? Is it the same thing like we did earlier? Um, with the... Yeah, Hanging leg off. off. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Uh, five right there. Go. Six. Nice. Go. Seven. Go. Eight. So for everyone that's watching, if you cannot do a good hip extension or a hip thrust, your quads are probably tight. That's it right there. Good job. Okay, st this one's straight. I'm just going to go through the... Leggings now with the blade lightly. Boop. So here, following the leg. 
keep me updated on the pressure. I'm just gonna slowly add, assuming it does not hurt. No, it's fine. Remind me again, when do you feel this knee pain? Um, it's mostly squatting right now. I'm on a squat program where we're squatting like three times a week. So <laughs> Three times? Yeah, it's just a lot of volume and I don't think my recovery has been great. <laughs> yeah, I can could, I could see that. <laughs> I'm only asking this because I know it's getting really popular with um, some of the clients I've come across. Do you ever do like cold plunges for recovery? No, I don't. Me either. I Just hate, curious. I hate the cold. <laughs> <laughs> what temperature? What what temperature is good for you then? Like training? No, like this, like the the weather. Oh gosh, at least seventy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you live Anything in... lower than that, I like need a sweatshirt and sweatpants. Tell me you live in California without <laughs> telling me you live in California. Okay, uh, this is gonna be, do you mind if I take the shoe off? Cause I'm gonna have your foot slide. That's fine. Okay. Ah, cool. Okay. So I'm going to time my glide. Mm -hmm. What I need you to do is basically as far as you can go close to your butt and then just slide all the way down. Okay. Okay. So what I'm doing is shortening the muscle and then lengthening the muscle following your leg. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. One. Good. Back up. Yep. I'm following you. Two. Good. Three. Good. Up. Perfect. Four. I'm gonna work my way around to the lateral side. Five. Good. Six. Go. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. And ten. Good job. Relax right there. Okay, cross fiber. This feels actually really good. <laughs> okay, what I need from you is to, I guess let's get your shoe back on and I want you to actually just air squat for me. It's gonna tell me if, cause you don't have um, a mobility issue with your quad. Mm -hmm. The only real way I can re test if I'm moving in the right direction with the knee pain is if you just do an air squat for me. Okay. Tracking really well. Ankle, ankle stability is great. <laughs> How's it feel on the right knee? Feels good. Really good? Yeah, it feels good. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other side. Um, 